Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is October 17th. Starting January 1st of 2026, California will now be producing its own insulin at $11 per dosage under the CalRx brand. This comes after California's partnership with Civica Rx and Biocon Biologics that happened a few years ago. A new national review of pickleball injuries has shown that pickleball-related eye injuries has increased significantly since 2021. The majority of the injuries are being occurred in individuals over the age of 50, usually by the ball or by the paddle, and the most severe are retinal detachment and ocular fractures. Before we get into the rest of it, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack, where you'll get a daily update and a more in-depth analysis, or you can find something to help support me as a medical student. I would greatly appreciate it. A new blood test called Galeri can now identify over 50 types of cancers before you're even symptomatic. With the current statistics, it's only able to predict cancer 43% of the time, but it can accurately tell you you do not have cancer in almost 99% of cases. And a new study finds that individuals who have a traumatic brain injury are more likely to have long symptoms or that are occurring for more than 30 days if they have certain pre-existing conditions. Certain characteristics such as being female, overweight, having anxiety or depression were significantly more likely to have symptoms lasting longer than 30 days. That's all the major news for today, but I will see you tomorrow for the regular weekly roundup.